Ty Medina is like any other four-year-old boy. He's curious, sweet, and full of energy. Yeah. But there is one thing Ty is missing. All ten fingers, all ten toes. Just no ear. <laughs> Ty doesn't have a right ear. Ty was born with microtia and atresia, and which pretty much means little ear. And he also doesn't have any ear canal at all. Which means Ty is deaf on his right side. At first, I was like, why my son? Ty's parents, Tara and Ishmael, soon realize not only is his condition rare, information is scarce. As Ty started to talk, they noticed he was behind his peers. That's when we started to worry that maybe one ear wasn't good enough. They got Ty a bone conduction hearing aid, which helped Ty's speech. But that didn't stop others from looking at him, staring at his little ear. I do see people stare. Sometimes, and that's kind of hard to deal with. Even Ty knows he's different, but his classmates don't need to know that. Ty said to me yesterday, Do I get a big ear like my friends? So that's what I think right now. With kindergarten right around the corner, Tara and Ishmael are worried about bullying. They knew they needed to do more to help their son fit in. He deals with it so awesome, you know, and that just kind of shows the person he's becoming. Okay, so we start by taking an impression. A flyer in the mail led the Medinas to Paul Tanner, an anaplastologist at the Huntsman yeah. Cancer Institute, then a man faster. who would soon give them new hope for their son. His presentation showed that he could fashion the prosthetic over the top of his microtic hair, which was huge for us. What's that? Up until that point, Tar and Ishmael were told they'd have to remove Ty's little ear to put a prosthetic one on, a surgery and risk they weren't willing to take. In this impression, we pour plaster, and then I'm able to match up side by side. After a meeting with Paul, the Medinas were soon on their way to getting Ty an ear. Instead of uh, sculpting the ear, I'm able to get a much more accurate model of the ear by doing the CT scan and then flipping it. From there, Paul sends the image to the Marriott Library, and the ear is printed using new technology, a 3D printer. It was noticeably a child's ear. <laughs> I mean, we've printed other ears, right? And, and you can kind of just tell, like, this is, this, is, this is something a little different. Ty, do you want to climb up here like a rock climber? Today is the day the silicone mold is done and Ty is getting his big ear. Pretty good match there with the shape. Paul fits the ear to Ty's head. And then when this goes on, we're going to slide it over the top of his ear. Next, he touches up the paint to match the color perfectly to Ty's skin. Tara and Ishmael can't believe what they're seeing. It's 3D printed. It's a perfect replica of the other ear. Go look at your ear, Ty. On the Go mirror. look in the mirror. I do see a big old smile on his face right now, so I think he's pretty excited, and I think it will be good for him. A reality made possible by a mother and father's endless love for their son.